We're getting ready for our first farmer's market and we're going to show you what we made and get your opinion <laughs> and get your thoughts right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we do a new video every Friday. This week, we're preparing for the farmer's market. So I think we've shared with you, I know we shared it on social media, I think we shared it in another video, that we're going to make our first go at a farmer's market. Yeah. So for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be trying out some projects and looking for your feedback. This week, we're going to start with the front porch welcome sign. Everybody loves those. They're pretty versatile. You can have one for every season. So what we're going to do is put a new spin on it because a lot of people have requested the welcome sign, front porch welcome sign planter. Yes. So we're going to do two versions. The first version is going to be the planter that's kind of classic all season. We're going to do welcome to our home again, but we're going to have the interchangeable O. A lot of people have wanted to see one of those in our store, have asked us about those, and you've seen them everywhere. So we've got some new O's that we'll add to our store, and we got a couple of interchangeable ones we're going to make with this project. And the second one is going to be a fun summer planter with bright colors. And this one will just be a one season planter. So I'm going to give you two options. We're going to use two different techniques. For the welcome to our home one with the interchangeable O, we're going to use fence pickets. And we're going to use those to make the planter as well. So it's going to kind of look like a pallet sign, pallet board, pallet wood. Yeah. Anyway. And then the second one, we're going to use a 1 by 12 and stencil the front of it. So one's going to have 3D letters and one's going to have a stencil. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's get started. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We really just needed one 1 by 12. Right. Eight foot long. This board is not the cheapest board. So cheapest. it was $24. Uh, so it's not going to be the cheapest option, but it's going to be the simple option because you're just making a couple of cuts and that's it. You're just ready to paint pretty yeah. much from there. It's definitely the easiest option. <laughs> Step two. Now we're going to make all of our cuts. I like my pocket saw, but it can't really do a long boards. Anything over like five inches, can't really do it. So my next go-to is a circular saw with this a Craig Jig guide. This thing is so great. I will tell you, you do not have to have a table saw with this Craig Jig guide. You, it butts up against the board. It doesn't go anywhere. The saw, you just put this little track onto your saw with a couple of screws and it keeps it in a perfectly straight line. It really is super handy. We use it a lot to cut down large sheets of plywood. Yeah, MDF plywood. Yep. Oh yeah, all of our MDF, mm -hmm. yes. So I thought I'd share that with you. If you don't have one, highly recommend. Not yet a sponsor, but working on it. <laughs> We're cutting two boards at 11 and a quarter, and then two more boards at nine and three quarters. Not to be confused with the platform. <laughs> I said it earlier, he didn't get the joke, <laughs> but maybe you guys will. <laughs> Took me a second this time too. <laughs> I might be slow. Some of us get it, some of us don't. Time to prep the design. Garrett's created this cute little SVG for us in Photoshop and we're going to cut it using our 24 inch US cutter to create a stencil. The SVG will be available in our store. You can purchase it and easily slice it and cut it on your Cricut. Step four. Time to paint. We're going to paint everything white. Yes, we're going to start off with the base coat of white. And then we're going to use our cute little stencil colors, I'm not even sure you can see them over there, to paint our stencil. <laughs> that was graceful. <laughs> to paint our stencil, we're going to use our Bayer chalk paint. This one is in tin white, T-I-N, tin. Tin white. And then the letters are going to be in black, and this is called Classic Noir. Classic. Back 
back with our stencil. We're going to lay the stencil down before we assemble it. And finish up our painting. We added a thin layer of Mod Podge before we added our paint. And we peeled the stencil up before the paint was dry. Step five. Time to assemble. We're just gonna use some uh, a Gorilla Wood Glue and an inch and a quarter brad. The nail, not the guy. We used one of the 11 and a quarter inch boards as the front. We glued and nailed that to the nine and three quarter inch sides. And then we put 11 and a quarter inch board as the base and we glued and nailed that to the bottom. Finally, we attached it to the sign. All right, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Number one, whoops. Easy killer. Number one is a done. Yeah, you can see it in final shots when we're at the yeah, I keep hitting flowers it. to it. Just I take it over there. Mm -hmm. Sign planter number two. This is our classic all season planter. For this one, we're just gonna use the fence pickets and the 3D letters. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We needed three dog-eared fence pickets and some scrap of one by twos, about four feet, three feet. We get a lot of questions on our fence pickets as to whether or not we sand them because sometimes you don't see us sand them. And that's because sometimes we don't have to. One of the home improvement stores that we go to has really nice fence pickets and they just need like a like sanding, if that, if especially that. since it's gonna sit on the front porch. But these are super rough. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. That's terrible. <laughs> that was like, somebody chewed on the end of that. So this one is going to definitely take some sanding. Not, it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it's gonna sit on the front porch, but I won't paint it quite this rough. So we'll hit it with some, you know, rough sandpaper to knock some of this texture down. Hit it with a little bit of the 80. Be good yes. to go. Yeah. A little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of 80. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We need four 11 and three quarters, four 10 and a halves, and then about four nine-ish is, 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 is. Step three, we're gonna do our design. I'm gonna take some MDF over to the Glowforge and cut out our letters and a couple of those interchangeable O's. And we'll make those available in our store so you can go get the front porch welcome planter. What is it? Front porch plant, what, no. Welcome sign planter? Yeah, I think it's the, yeah, welcome sign planter. Welcome. Front porch welcome sign planter? Front porch welcome sign planter. <laughs> so That's what I'm going to label the kit as. There you go. Step four. Now we do some staining and some painting. <laughs> We're going to paint our letters and all of our little O pieces. And I'm going to stain the boards. Step five, and now we assemble it. We're just gonna use these 11 and a half inch pieces that we have, some wood glue, and a one inch brad. The nail, not the guy. And these are gonna go in the back this time. Yep. Not that far down, I think. I think you, you need think some, so. yeah, because it needs a little bit, yeah, right there, if you could do that. Right. These are just slightly warped, and so, the closer to the center we get, the less they'll be warped. Now we're gonna flip it. Oh! And I'll go get the letters. Okay. Is this e go down? get your biggest, go get me that pumpkin. Oh, the E is upside down. 
You're famous for that. Painted the wrong side of the E. Again. We glued and nailed a 2x2 two two to the front bottom outside corner of the sign. Then we glued and nailed two 2x2s two two across two 11 and 3 quarter inch picket pieces. Next we attached the sign and the front piece we just made using two 10 and a half picket pieces. We did the same one for the other side. Finally attached the bottom using the two 11 inch picket pieces. Uh, all right. Oh, we gotta drill the thing for the hole. Yeah. We're jumping on that interchangeable O bandwagon. But we're gonna use this really strong magnet that we found on Amazon. And then these um, washers that we picked up from Walmart. I think this is a strong magnet. It's crazy strong. We've been playing crazy with strong. them. I broke one. I broke one. All right, the only thing that we didn't count for or realize is that when we add the magnet in the center of this O, I don't know how we're going to attach the O. So huh. It'll never be an O again. It'll always be something. A holiday something. Yes, it's always some holiday somewhere. I just, it's just that I didn't catch that until just now when I was like, oh, how am I going to put that O in there? Well, I need the O. Out of nowhere where the middle yeah. is. So I'm just taking a inch and a quarter Forstner bit and just gonna go in just a, a scooch, just a little little touch, a little, a little touch of the Forstner bit. I'm trying to. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay. Put a little here. We used clear Gorilla Glue to attach our magnet to the back of the board, and then we used our washers and the clear Gorilla Glue for the interchangeable O's. All right, we're gonna let these dry. We're gonna let these dry, and then we gotta put the plants in it. What? What do you guys think? Are they farmers market worthy? Yeah, we've also painted our little seasonal accents. We have, and these are, like I said, will be available in the store. We have our flip flops, we have our birthday, pet friendly, our puppy dog, Halloween witch hat, pumpkin, and a Christmas wreath and a bunch more. So just thought I'd show you a little sample of what we've got so far. We're about out of time. <laughs> we gotta get going. So we'll see you guys next week where we'll do it, build it or make it again.